a Cards with Michael production. Hello, welcome back, Cards with Michael. It's been a bit since we had a video. Uh, during this time, I got a lot of good rest, and now I feel pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, really. And uh, without further ado, today we have another Japanese War of the Spark box. I've been loving these so much. I ordered a bunch more, and I'll have them available for sponsoring. For, you know, if you want to grab a whole sealed box for yourself, join my Facebook group. And uh, obviously, if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. Bing! And uh, subscribe if you haven't. For, you know, good little two for one. And also hit that little bell. It does help make sure that you get notifications when a new video pops up. I've been noticing that notifications typically come a little bit later nowadays on YouTube. Don't know what's up with that. But anyways, for Jason G today, an entire box sponsoring of Japanese War of the Spark. Whoa. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so excited to open another one of these. Can't wait to get more. Can't wait to get more. Alright. Without further ado, let's go ahead, crack this box open. Just go ahead and cut through it. Alright, here we go. So, of course, the hunt is on for a Liliana. As per use, as per use. Um, but you know, there's so many other sweet pulls in this uh, in these boxes, so it won't be too bad if we get something else. But hey, we always know there's a chance. There's a non-zero chance. So let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Hack number one. Alright, our first, first uh, planeswalker is just a wanderer. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the planeswalkers in a separate pile and um, uh, do something like this. Uncommons, planeswalkers, rares, and mythics. And uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll put the, all the alt art planeswalkers here at the top. You know, because that's what we're opening these for, you know. Any cool rares or mythics, like like a non alt art to fairy, awesome. But that's not what we're opening these for. We're opening these for the alt art planes. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? What is this? Hey! A Sarkin! Look at that! Oof. You do not want to mess with this guy. I don't see the dragon resemblance as much in this art, but hey, you know, can't, can't have it all. Can't have it all. Alright, I'm gonna keep rolling, keep rolling. And if you have noticed, I've been opening these kind of upside down because I can't figure out how to open this part. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is this is how they designed it, maybe? I don't know. Alright, alright. Not bad, we already got a, uh, an alt art rare planeswalker. Oh, 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 oh. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We got Swatley, Dino Chick, and a Parhelion too. Alright. Right, and a foil, blinding blast. I love blinding blast. It's a cool little cantrip that sometimes could, you know, pop a creature out as well. It's always good to get 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 some of those because uh, you know, value, value. All right, and we'll keep going. All right. See, like you could pop one of these four ones. That's just like so much value. And this was also an X one. There were plenty of X ones in the set. Oh, another X one, blinding blast. Oh, you could blinding blast that with the trigger on the stack if, if they uh, put it on itself. Oh, it just had so much value. So much value. And of course, you could blinding blast a creature so it can't block. Of course, that, that was always relevant and then you get in there. The cantrip just made it so much better. Hey, look at the little Ash Wow, it's three packs in a row of alt art blockers. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna keep rolling. Um, another thing I noticed about these boxes are that uh, War the Spark in general is not really like a huge EV set. And, that, and that's actually true of most of the recent sets. Um, like, they, I, I'm, what I'm guessing is the supply of boxes is so high that it's just impossible for singles prices to really, really go up. Like it has to be very, ooh, got a little omnix list here, not all hurt. It's just impossible for single prices to really rise any higher than, um, you know, the fairy is a good example, $12 rare. That's already really high, and that's because the fairy is literally a multi-format ultimate. Like, uh, and I'm talking about obviously about the 3-minute Teferi. 
Um, but that's just a cool little thing that I've noticed. And War of the Spark didn't even have a collector box, so this is straight up, this is the only version of the fairy that you can really get. Um, obviously there's a stained glass version, um, there's this alt art version as well, uh, but ooh, oh, Narset. But you know, it's really cool seeing that standard prices for cards are very accessible for most players, right? Like there's really not many cards that are worth a terrible amount. Now, the next kind of chase cards might be like Ugin, that, that would be a good guess. Um, Grim Tutor um, in standard, there's a poor 2021, but uh, Azusa maybe. Um, but you know, so far Wizards has been doing this thing where they will print, you know, so much supply that they really want Wizards, they, they really want standard to be accessible, so. Just some cool observations we've made, of course. And, ooh, we're gonna have a rare Planeswalker here. It's a, a Johnny, my favorite Planeswalker. I felt like I was often splashing for this, um, but whenever I was able to play it, oh, I just felt like I could never lose. You can't, you can't really lose like a, a, a race when one player has a Johnny and you don't. So, I don't know, this felt like such a powerful card and I love it so much. And wow, we already got two rare uh planeswalkers that's actually pretty good for a box if you if you've watched any of the other boxes and you know, put little clips up we also opened two last friday um of course that's not on youtube that live stream for reasons that uh, are unclear but whatever it's on twitch um i'll put the twitch link in the description so that you can watch that video um yeah it's been a good time so far of these uh, japanese war the sparks and we got a little tip alt here what a i think someone said on stream last friday i really liked it what a dapper Tybalt, and I like it. He is pretty dapper here. All right, and a spark double, that's a great hit. One of the rares that does have value, and it's one of those, like, I've seen articles where people are like, hey, let's spec on spark double. Not too shabby, it's one of the only top ways to clone a Flameswalker. It's one of the only ways to have, to really, like, get around the legendary rule, and it's in standard, and it's in pioneer, so, you know, with cards like Garuda, Doom of Depths, it has a lot of potential, it has a lot of potential. Um, but same deal, like, you need to be a multi-format all-star in standard. Um, for a standard legal card to really, really make it, so... Speculate with caution. Oh, we have another rare Planeswalker! What is it? It's a... A Vivian! Look at that! Oh man, this box has been swell! We already got three rare Planeswalkers! We hit the Narset, we hit the uh, we hit the Ashok. We hit a lot of really good hits for this early into the box. So, whoa! And we got the Tolsmere Wolf Token. Gorgeous! Just gorgeous. Alright. Oh, keep rolling, keep rolling. So far, it's so great, actually. I've really been enjoying this one. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. Got our uncommons, of course. And a Dovin. All right, all right. Gorgeous. Ooh, yes! My favorite actual card of the entire set. Oh, Niv Mizzet. Yes, five color nonsense. Comes into play, tons of value, potentially, literally tons of value. You need to make your deck so janky to, re to really make him that good. Oh my god. And he's a 5 minute 6 6 flying dragon in five different colors. He is a quintessential Michael type of card. Like, this is what I want to open pack one, pick one. This is what I want to, um, you know, when people say, like, is this the hill you want to die on? This is the hill. This is the hill. This is the hill that I want to die on. Um, it is so fun. Like, when it works, obviously it works. When it doesn't, you know, you probably lose very quickly, so it doesn't really matter too much, and you'll forget and never remember it because um, that's how you deal with trauma, maybe sometimes. But yeah, Niv Mizzet Reborn. My favorite mythic, our first mythic of the box. Great. Awesome, awesome. And, 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 I said we hit it. All right, we'll keep rolling. That's our first mythic of the box. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I just realized I don't have a spot. For those. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that and then we'll make the spot. Alright. Go on to the next pack. Alright, here we go. Alright. So far we've hit so many alt art planeswalkers. I'm expecting maybe, you know, a couple packs about them. Um, they are supposed to be every other. Okay, here we go. A Dovin and a uh gosh. I know I know this is a board wipe, but I always forget which one it is. And uh got a you know Citadel Swamp. Speaking of which, oh man, are you guys excited for the uh, jump start with all those basic lands that are kind of like thematic? I think this is so cool. I really like how they implemented that. Um, they really, you know, they they like don't want to like make the packs just like insane, but like this little subtle thing like that, are, I think it's a really nice touch. Um, just because at the price point that each of these 
well, well, we'll find out, right? Like, the Jumpstart box prices have really, really changed a lot in the last, even just like 72 hours, basically, last three or four days. Um, we'll see if they become more affordable, uh, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, um, or, you know, we have some, you know, weird US supply issue and then, you know, boxes are really high again. And it's another mystery booster situation where stores, you know, sell some at 100, then 120, 130, 150, 160, 170, 200. Um, that would be a bummer because I really feel like this is an awesome product that was really made for casual players. Um, but we'll find out. We'll find out. And you know what? I think, you know, even at 120, 130, it's like, all right, that's like, okay. If you're just going to get one box, play for fun. You can really, you know, you, a significant other, you and friend can play, what, 12 matches, right? Because it's 24 packs per box. Um, so it's, it's not that bad. Like, you, you know, you buy a box, play like once every other few days, and that, that's like a whole month of magic entertainment. So, hey, second mythic. They are. All right. All right. Yeah, and that, that was kind of our, our slew of non all our planes walkers we just hit. Ah, speaking of new product, what else do we have? Oh, right. Uh, I don't know, it hasn't really been talked about much, but I really enjoy the Chandra Spell Kit. That one seems popular too. Um, I think that the art is really nice. Um, I would call some of that art showcase art. Um, and I think they're they're really doing a good job. Hey, got a little Kazmina action. All right, Time Warp. Yep, love this. Basically my favorite, uh, uh, what, what you call it? My favorite uh, board wipe. And a foil. Nice little foil. Oh, but I really like the, uh, there's like a promo version of this, and I love it, it's so gorgeous, with the fairy. Uh, anyways, got a foil island, oh, that's such a cool foil island, look at that. A little Azorius signet, or Azorius logo in there. Super cool, oh, double, double action on those basic lands. Alright, now yeah, keep rolling, keep rolling. Now, time to spell kit, man, I think it's actually going to be a cool product. Um, you know... Not something that I feel like people should speculate on or really buy up a lot and expect to make money. And that's what's awesome about it because I think it's just like, you know, casual guy, casual Timmy, whatever, buys one, probably doesn't have use for all of them, sells the ones they don't want. But the Chandra is such a cool card. Like there's obviously other versions of that Chandra, but I really, really like, really, really like that they're giving that Chandra spell kit. All right, here we go. We have a, another rare. No alt art plane blocker in that one. And we'll keep rolling, we'll keep rolling. And now, now that's, you know, that's like two in a row, three in a row. We do want to hit another one. Um, have not hit a mythic. Obviously there's only two possible mythics. Um, and we've hit the Gideon twice already. So uh, I would expect, I would expect to hit a Liliana, you know, s sometime, right? Like uh, full honesty, these, ooh, got a little Domri raid. All right. Okay, that's our third rare, Alt Art. Uh, well, we're getting there, we're getting there. Look at him. Oh man, he's just so cool. Oh, I wanna be that cool. All right, all right, here we go. Another pack. Okay. Like, how rare are Liliana? It's like, I. Some, can someone crunch the numbers better than me? Ooh, it's a Healy. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And a Feather. Whoa, that's a sweet one. I'm so sad it's on Alt Art. But look, a Foil Ugin. Okay, okay. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, foil Japanese Ugin. Oh, nice entry. Nice entry. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh, okay. I'll... I'll I'll sleeve this one up right now, just in case. I don't know if it's worth a ton of money. Obviously, this version of Ugin is not the best Ugin. But still, so awesome. That. All right, all right. Put it in the foil section. Don't keep rolling. Keep rolling. Well, that's one foil rare. Um, I wouldn't. You know, there there are some cards that are still worth a ton of money in this set that are not Liliana. Um, you know, Alt Art Teferi, Alt Art Narset. Oh man. Let's see. Let's see, what can we get? All right, here we go. That means moot. Apparition. All right, that's a moot. Okay, old mirror. And all right, little cute little servo token. Yeah, I'll keep open, keep open. Eventually we'll get something great. That is the, that's the case of sealed product these days, the case. Um, 
<laughs> My jokes are terrible. My jokes are really, really awful. Okay, um, you know, like, there's always a chance. There's a non-zero chance that we'll open something insane, and, you know, that's the reason why we record, right? Because that, that way, if we do open something insane, I'll be able to share with you guys, and you'll be able to share with other people, and it'll just be this awesome time that we all can watch that video over and over again. And, um, and that's what makes it work. Like, honestly, I know, a lot of these boxes, we're not going to get the same amount of value that you could potentially get, um, quote unquote, buying singles, right? Unless it's Ikoya Collectors, because I truly believe, I really, really believe that uh, Ikoya Collectors, you can get more. Oh, cure of that. And of course, we have. And a, oh, a foil mythic this time. Oh man, no, this is not what we want as a foil mythic. But still, better than no foil mythic. Give this one a sleeve as well. All right. This is a really, really good cube card too. Of course, uh, in my cube, I would probably not use it because it's in Japanese, and I don't think anyone in my playgroup knows Japanese. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a sweet little mythic, foil mythic. Wow, two foil cards already that are pretty good. Very playable. It's always nice because the foil card, you know, oftentimes it's just a little bulk common. It's like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? All right, all right, I'll keep opening. Well, I don't expect this pack, the following pack that was right next to that pack, to have a foil mythic Liliana. Nope, nope, just, oh wait, no, we can still have it. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter what the planeswalker is, the foil could be something else, it could be an additional planeswalker. All right, okay, all right. And, okay, no rare. Alright, no foil, rather. Hey, so far so good. I think we're doing pretty well for this box. Um, once again, we hit, you know, kind of all the all the big hits that we need. Or, all, not the big hits, all the uh, the minimum hits, I would say. Like a Narset, a Nashia, a few rare Planeswalkers. So, really not too shabby. Really not too shabby. Alright, here we go. Avril Volus, Storm of Citadel, Hex Plating. And okay, all right, a Tamiyo. Oh gosh, it would have been so much sweeter if it was the alt art Tamiyo. But hey, that that is that is what that is what we got. Cool night token. All right, all right. We're about I want to say a little over halfway through the box. Haven't hit a Liliana yet. I mean that's crazy. I would expect at least hit, uh, you know, at least a non foil version. Like come on, right? Like throw me a bone, right? All right. Here we go. Okay. Jang. Alright, alright. Cool. Got a foil apparition. It's very nice. It's very nice. And yes, this is the token. This is the three four dollar token that is uh made from Oketra. Um God Eternal Oketra. It has nickel bolus, that has got eternal Oketra, and it's just this you know, buff looking 4-4 warrior. Rawr. And he's just kind of just like holding two weapons. So I I'll I am positive this is the token. It's it's the only token in the whole set that's worth like real amounts of money because it's quite rare. And if you're playing any type of deck that uses God Eternal Oketra, you want multiples of it. And it's the only way to get it in War of the Spark Pack. So it's also a very unique token, right? Like it's a four four zombie token. Okay. All right. Next pack. And all right, a Sahili. Okay. Okay. Dreadhorde Arcanist. No. No four. No four. All right. Keep rolling, keep rolling. That's a cool thing about these 36 packs, you know, like, they're not like Masters packs, um, where each pack is like, you know, it costs a lot more money, so that, you know, each pack needs to be a hit, or else it just feels awful if you have a lot of misses. You know, with booster packs, we know there's gonna be bulk rares. We know that some of these, and, and you know, a lot of the bulk rares have, ooh, look at that, Raska, gorgeous. And a lot of the um, bulk rares do have a lot of uh, limited playability, so, there's a reason in place for everything. Oh, uh, yep. Here's the other token. It's a zombie token made by Liliana. This is just a tutu. Doesn't look as epic. There's no like Liliana in the background or whatever, or Nicol Bolas. But still, cool, cool. All right, all right. We'll keep rolling. Keep rolling. Here we go. Crush the scent. All right. I'd like to crush the scent of not having a Liliana, please. All right, we have. Wolf, gr Wolf Girl, Arlen, and a God Eternal. All right, got another Mythic. Not too shabby. El Citizen token as well. Oh, keep rolling, keep rolling. All right. Old Ben, 
Tasmina. Okay, all right. That that was quick. Bolus the Citadel and okay. Oh, double token. All right. Okay. We're almost through the box. Or at least over a third, or over two thirds. Um, the hunt is still on. The hunt is still on, of course. Just need to, you know, pray a little, think a little, respect, reflect a little on our lives, and here comes our Liliana. Okay, we got a Liliana. A foil. Okay, well, hey. Can't say we didn't pull a Liliana, but, uh, and we can't say we didn't pull a Japanese Liliana. Um, that is not the one. That is not the one. This is not the one that got away. This is just one of the ones that uh, wasn't the one. Alright. Oh, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Had a good feeling about that one, too. I don't know if you could tell. I was, like, really hyping that one up, but, uh, dang. What a, what a close call. What a close call. Alright. There we go. And you always have like a pack after the after the close call mythic where you're like, huh, well. Oops. I'm the theory. Don't expect too much from this one if they're right, you know, next to each other. That is at least my my philosophy. Like, usually I don't see mythics clumped together. That's just kind of a thing that I noticed. From opening, you know, all these packs. Um, which is why sometimes, you know, you sort them, you, you uh, do a little shuffle, especially when, when there's multiple sponsors involved. But when there's just one sponsor involved, that's just a, a matter of semantics or timing. Oh, a Davriel. Alright, a Mizium. Mizium Tanko. And, alright. What a kind of very plain pack that was. Alright. Alright. That was enough packs in a row of uh, duds, so to speak. Let's see how we do on this one. Let's see how we do. Alright. My favorite. Death Sprout, five color, five color, and we have a Simut, alt art, gorgeous art, look at that, oh, it looks so cool, looks Egyptian of course, and keep going, widespread, brutality, another Nico Bullis art, I really wish they also did full art bands in this set, obviously I know that would have been excessive, they, they had already done it multiple times, and this set already had a calling card for sales, i.e. the planeswalker in every in every pack but you know can a guy dream sometimes can't a guy dream sometimes all right here we go oops paradise druid hexproof jaya hey god eternal oketra welcome back to the scene a foil land all right all right, all right that's so far every single box we've always hit like multiple mythics like over more than I would expect, right? Like, I expect like four and a half minutes. But each box at least has had five, which could just be, you know, we got lucky. Um, and, and this box, of course, had the foil mythic, foil finale. Um, but, you know, none of them really matter at the end of the day if we can't pull a Liliana. All right, this is a Nissa, still. Very, very sweet. Very, very playable. Like, Basically the most playable Planeswalker outside of Teferi. Um, not for eternal purposes. Eternal purposes, uh, Narset and Ashiok have a lot more play. Narset especially. Like, Narset is just so good in the, the older formats. Alright. Here we go. Boom! Yes. It's gonna be a rare Planeswalker and... Alright, Soren. Okay. Alright. Kind of a letdown there, Soren. You could have been anything else. You could have been anything else. Alright. Two packs left. Two packs left. Oh man. Where's our mythic? Where is our Lily? Where is she? You guys believe. I believe. We've often done this before. Just getting that that late, late Hail Mary. Alright, nope. This is a Tybalt. Alright, we can still have a foil. And nope, no foil. Okay. One last pack left. One last pack left. I kinda of just crept up. Like I was just I felt like I, I told a story or two, commented about jumpstart. And other stuff, and now we're already on our last pack. Look at that. Alright. Let's do this. Potly Rapid. Alright. Okay. Can't trip. Flyer guy. And an Ugin to end things off. Alright, alright. What's there? Okay, no foil. So, I want to say this is uh, probably on the average side for boxes. Let's count how many alt arts we hit. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? Dang, that's actually less than we would expect. I mean, our, our first video, we hit 20. So that's actually not great. That's actually not great for, uh, you know, purely from an alt art standpoint. Uh, well, of course, we did hit some of the fan favorites in our set, of course. We did hit more rares than I would expect. Um, and we did hit some foil, nice foil cards. Foil Ugin, foil Mythic here. Got some, of course, we got some Mythics as well. Of course, got that mythic liliana but not the one we want and that's the box hope you guys enjoyed the video i've been trying to do a little bit more casual a little bit more relaxing for these because you know until we hit that lily it's just like a you know story time hang, having a good time hanging out subscribe to see these videos come out as soon as they are you know hot off the press and um until the next one